What's up, peeps? Mike Games here. Today I have a very interesting device to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Artery. Artery Vapor. It is the Hive 200 watt kit. Comes with, in this kit, the Hive sub -ohm tank. Mesh coils, baby. Yes. Two different versions of this. You got the resin. And they also have one that's a carbon fiber. So, let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let's check out the Artery Hive. Here's the packaging. The Artery Hive 200 watt kit comes in. Inside the packaging, you get your user manual, USB charging cable, spare glass, straight glass, spare coil, mesh coil, mesh coil pre-installed, your tank, O-rings for that tank, and your Hive 200 watt mod. All right, guys, we'll start off with the Hive sub -ohm tank, 24 millimeter, 4 ml of e-liquid with the bubble glass, 3 with the straight. We do have an A10 resin drip tip, and I've tried other drip tips on here, A10, and it seems like it's not deep enough. I get gappage with other A10 drip tips. We have top fill, simple unscrew, and you fill. All right, we do have our airflow control thingamajigger going on here. As you can see, it does have a stopper. All right, two openings on both sides, unscrew it, and we have our mesh coil. And the coil is there now. Okay, let's do it differently. Don't you guys hate when that happens, when that coil, like, yeah. Anyway, there it is. It's uh, 50 to 90 watts, 0.14 resistance. All right, there we go, mesh coil. All right, you get two of these. All right, guys, and here is the Hive 200 mod, watt mod by Artery. So, yeah, there's the back side. We have uh, a B. Hive 200, right? The whole body on this here, the whole shell is an aluminum body. We do have a resin panel up on front. They make two versions of this. They have the resin one, and they also have this one here, which is a uh, plasticky carbon fiber. This is not real carbon fiber, by the way. I don't think it is. But yeah, there you go. There's the two of them. And the tank that comes with this one is going to have a black drip tip. And this one here is going to be the tank that you guys saw that's going to have that resin drip tip. There you go. Alrighty, so we have 510 right there. Ooh, it would have been nice if it was in the center. It's not. All right. Spring-loaded 510. We'll grab our 30s. We're going to see. There's a 30 fit on here. All right, there you go. That's how it would look with the 30. All right, not bad. Not bad. You do have overhang. But still, it's not too bad. 28 to look better. This is perfect for your 24s and 25s on here. Looking at the side, we do have our clicky fire button. Bottom, we have some, you can see there, ventilation ports. All copyrights reserved by Artery. All right, once again, there's all around the device. USB port, little light indicator while you're charging it. And then right here, there's a little tab thingy. You stick your finger in there and bam, that opens up. You got magnets, four magnets on here, four on here. There's the inside, our battery tray, pop that open, and there you have it, all right? We do have our positives and negatives, even though it is in gray, I wish it was just a little bit better visibility on that. Spring-loaded top contacts right here, and the name of the chip. After you get your batteries in, tab sits in there, perfect, perfectly cut tab, and there we go, that sits in place. All right, you do have movement up and down, but in the hand, when using it, it does not move around at all. Only if you do this, it'll do it. So it's not too bad. All right, there's our display. Click on that fire button. Actually, let's turn it on. There we go. And there's the screen. It's got a nice, beautiful, nice visible screen. I like it. It's a no-nonsense screen that they have on here. Or display, let's say. Artery, power mode, or wattage, how many seconds you press it, resistance, voltage, and two battery indicators. And over here, stealth thinner is a lock button because you could lock the device. And you could also lock the up and down buttons. So there's two separate locks it has, and you could power it off by five clicks. So pretty cool. It's got three different ways of doing your locking on here. Your check atomizer thingy going on. We're gonna throw the tank on here so this way we don't get that check atomizer constantly going on. That's the way it looks all together. And it asks you, new coil or old coil? All right. New coil, let's see, did it do it? Let's do it one more time. Screw that back on. New coil, yes. 
All right, so new coil, it's reading it, 0.15. Coil is marked at a 0.14, all right? And it brought me to 65 watts. Now, I think what it does is it has some sort of, um, depending on the resistance of your coil, it'll bring you a recommended wattage, because I had this set at 77 watts, if I'm not mistaken, before. So we do have an up and down button here. All right, very nice. One watt increments on there. Let's scroll, see how fast it scrolls to 200. Not bad, pretty good, up to 200 watts. Now we have our up and down buttons here. If I click them both at the same time, see that lock? The lock is now highlighted and this is stealthed in. It won't fire, I can't do nothing. So it's almost like shutting the device off but without clicking it five times, you just got it locked. Click it again, both at the same time, and it unlocks. Now if I do the plus button and fire button, hold for two seconds, and it's locked. Now this is locked, but I can still fire it. Now another feature it has, if I click this fire button four times, it'll bring me into a color mode. So where my font was white, I could have it either green, yellow, orange, purple, blue, or just exit right out of there. All right, so I keep it at white because it looks more visible. You know what, we'll just do blue for shits and giggles, and there you go, you can see how the blue looks. So now to get into the menu system, it's three clicks. There we go. We're in work mode. I got power, temperature, temperature. Mm -hmm. But you guys understand temperature. That's what they're trying to say, temperature. Flavor mode. We're going to look at this one here in a second. If you want to vape it in voltage mode, you can adjust your brightness of your screen. You can power it off from here and exit out of here. So this is the main thing about this the flavor click on flavor now you could set it up if you're vaping a f fruit flavor a cream dessert tobacco and exit which is odd I have it right now at 69 watts let's say I click on fruit it'll say fruit and you see it dropped me to 65 watts so it's recommending me to vape at 65 watts for fruit now I think it's a gimmick how could it basically give you a better uh, and it's going to be 65 watts for all those flavors it'll bring me. I, I, I don't know. Uh, how could it give me a better vape if it's a fruit flavor? How does it... Yeah, it's just... It's all only power going to the atomizer. So that might be kind of... In my opinion, I think that's a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then we... What did I just go into? Power mode? Let me go back in. So we're going to go back into flavor. That's it. I click on tobacco see it'll say tobacco and see it i'm back in again 65 watts three clicks power i want to be in power mode so i could do power mode i could do power curves in there back and exit all right click on power and you see that it has me at 70 watts now that i'm in power mode i guess where i had left off now we're going to check out the temperature control three clicks temp nickel titanium stainless steel tcr back and exit so we'll go to stainless steel and here you could adjust your wattage so let's say in temperature control you go up to 200 watts with this yeah easily 200 watts with it let's drop it back down i don't want to hit that at that wattage we'll keep it at 82 watts and there we go all right so we got stainless steel 410 82 watts it tells me my wattage right there and i could adjust this and it goes up to 600 then a round robin to the celsius now, let's say on the fly while you're using this and, uh, yeah, that wattage you have it at and temperature control is not enough, you actually got to go one, two, three. Temperature, stainless steel. Basically raise your wattage. Let's say you want to do 90 and now I'm at 90 watts. And for a quick size comparison, I'll put it next to the Alien. As you can see it is taller than the Smoke Alien. The dimensions, a little fatter on this one. There you go. All right, guys, and that was the Artery Hive 200-watt kit. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up-close Hive 200-watt kit by Artery. Mike, your thoughts, please. Okay, uh, before we get into thoughts, I'm going to talk about this flavor mode it has. Now, I've tried the flavor mode with uh, the same liquid. It was It's a strawberry pie from, uh, I can't remember the name of the company. But anyway, that's besides the point.
Now strawberry pie is dessert. Try it in dessert mode. Okay. I tried it in fruit mode. No. I have no difference. Try it in tobacco mode. Uh, the other mode, cream. My opinion, <laughs> gimmick. Yeah, it's a gimmick. For me, the flavor mode is a gimmick because it's you're it's shooting power to the atomizer. It cannot really control flavor. I don't know. It's the flavor that's in there is the flavor that's in there. Yeah, that's gonna be a gimmick. But that's not something you need to use. It's something that's in the mod. Yeah, I understand. It's a gimmick. People can be, oh, that's a gimmick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. But you could use it in regular wattage mode. Yeah. And you can use it in temp control, temp control mode. Yeah. So that's just something I wanted to mention right off the bat. I think it's pointless in my opinion. Uh, sorry, artery, but it is. Now, display on here, pro. Beautiful display. I love it. There's also a shortcut for the colors. Like, you guys could see it right now where I have 80 watts. Click it two times. And on a fly, I could change the color. Yeah. So you could do that. I'm going to give them a pro. I like that. I like that you could customize your color of your display. So, pro on that. Fires right away. This has very quick firing in this device. Pro. Looks. The resin. I think it looks good. Carbon fiber one looks cheesy. Yeah, if you're thinking about getting this device, yeah, this is the one right here. The resin one looks beautiful with the resin panel. Pro. Looks of the device other than the resin panel. Not bad. Feels good in the hands. All right. Really got nothing moving around or anything. Door. You're going to get that. That's if you're doing this. Chewy, 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 chewy. Yeah. If you're doing that, yeah, it's going to do that. But in the hand, using it, you don't feel it. Let me see. Nah, not really. Nah. It's okay. It's good. Trust me. Uh, what else? Uh, la, 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 la. Gap City. Yes, you're going to get a gap. Let's see. Can you guys see the gap? Can you see the gap? Yeah. So it does gap on here. I guess they did that for uh, not to scratch the surface when you're screwing it down. Some people are going to like that. Some people it's going to drive them nuts. For me, if I do like this right here with the white light from my computer on there, I see that gap. And it's like, ugh. Yeah. Tank. Big thumbs up. This tank is awesome. The flavor of these mesh coils beautiful so big pro on the tank i really have no complaints on this sub ohm tank for the exception of one thing the drip tip on here it is an a10 drip tip which is a big pro but if i go to use any of my other drip tips on there it leaves a gap the well for the opening for the drip tips needed to be a little bit deeper to accommodate other a10s there are other a10s that have a shorter stem part on there but yeah it's just something that i want to mention before you going and buying it oh i'm gonna put my own a10s and then it gaps but my it gaps you i did say it right here all right so you might have a gappage issue going on with the tank but other than that the tank works beautiful the flavor the airflow nice all in all you know what i kind of i'm kind of digging this device i like this display on here it's a nice nice bright display i like i could change the colors on the fly Look at that huh got the purple matching well it's gonna look like blue on here but yeah it's purple uh, i like to change that i like the looks of the device i like that it fires right away and uh yeah that's all i like about it you know so anyway <laughs> what else is it to like it's a device it works it does its job you know it's not the most perfect thing in the world it does have flavor mode which in my opinion is pointless but other than that it's a pretty good device the chipset on here works works pretty good price 99.99 yes 100 bucks to get this kit right here it is a little bit on the pricier side but we don't talk about price on this channel so anyway 99.99 dollars heavengifts.com coupon code amv15 will get you 15 percent off that site all right i will have no links down below no there's no links down there uh youtube just put out their new rules no links for tobacco or nicotine products yeah nicotine products not allowed to you know, since, yeah, since if you link a website that maybe sells e-juice, then, yeah, then nicotine. You know what I'm saying? So, no more links. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. I think I pretty much covered it. All in all, not bad of a kit. I'm actually digging the mod. I'm digging the tank. The tank is a real good tank on here. So, in the description below, there will only be links to moi. All my social media. If you want to check it out, my Patreon link, uh, Steve's YouTube channel, all down below. 
That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.